hopefully you've had an opportunity to work through the practice problems. Um, now I'm going to go through and work through their solutions. So the first problem is asking us to report a measurement with a value in the unit. And this is an exercise in making sure that we report both a numeric value and the unit associated with it. So for our first one, we're given a width, height, and length of five centimeters for a box. Um, well, if you remember, volume is equal to length times width times height. So that means that the volume of this box is gonna be equal to five centimeters times five centimeters times five centimeters. Um, well, five times five is 25, times five is 125. And then centimeters times centimeters times centimeters would be our units. So that would be centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. But we can think of units um, like variables. And so if I had um, x times x times x, I would call that x cubed. I'll do the same thing for my centimeter units. And I'll report this value as the numeric number, 125, and the units associated with that number, which is centimeters cubed, which is a, a unit of volume. The next one says a baby weighs um, 8.164 when placed on a scale and that the scale is measuring into units of kilograms. So to represent this measurement, I would write 8.164, reporting all of the digits that are read on the scale, kilograms. And together, this whole thing is my, my measurement, the number and the value for the unit. All right, let's look at reporting um, scientific notation. Um, so here's some numbers, one really large, one really small. Let's try reporting it in scientific notation. So for this first one, the first thing I'm gonna do is take my non-zero numbers right here and represent that as a decimal. So 7.560033. And then I'll multiply this by 10. And to figure out the exponent, I'll take my decimal place, which is at the end of the number, and move it back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine places. So this will be times 10 to the ninth. Let's make that look a little better. So my number is five point, or sorry, 7.560033 times 10 to the ninth. Now for my next one, my only non-zero number is this three. So I'm going to report this as three times 10. And now I'm going to have a small number because, um, which means a negative exponent. So my large number had a positive exponent. My small number will have a negative exponent. Let's see how many places I need to move this decimal. One, two, three, four, five, six. So times 10 to the negative six. All right, now let's go the other way. Let's try to report these numbers, um, convert numbers from scientific notation to just the, the full number. So here I have 5.00 times 10 to the negative third. So um, I would one, two, three, move over three decimal places. And that's, uh, sorry, not that direction. Uh, this is a negative three, since it's negative, this is a small number. So I'm moving my decimal place to the left. One, two, three. And here's where my decimal place now goes. Now any space that has nothing in it, like here, will now be filled with a zero. So I'd report this number as 0 0.005. And I'm gonna keep the trailing zeros, um, and that'll become clear after we talk about significant figures. But I'll keep anything that's reported. Figures. All right, for this one, we have a positive number. So we have a, on our exponent, so we have a large number. That means I'm going to move my exponent to the right. Four places, one, two, three, four. 
So my number is 40447.7 degrees Celsius.